Hi, fellow YouTubers. This is Nicholas speaking. Um, I just wanted to talk upon some things that's been going on in our country. Um, it's been happening, but it didn't really come to light the way uh, it was back in the, the day. Uh, you know, racism and the civil rights movement and, uh, you know, people actually standing up for what they believe in. It's not the same because we're different people. This is the different times. We're kind of uh, more comfortable when we're at right now. I'm going to put all of us. But um, first and foremost, I don't want to make this about me or about um, hate filled agenda or us versus them type of mentality. I don't want this is not what my video is about. My videos are about um, shedding light on truths, my opinion on those truths. Even if they might be right, technically they're my opinions. But um, to break into my opinion today, it's it's about what's been going on. Like literally, I voted for Hillary Clinton. I was doing canvassing for her election. Um, I am not biased. I don't. I wasn't like a fan, big fan of Hillary Clinton. I was rooting for her back when Bernie was running. Okay. Um, but at that point in the in elections when I was canvassing, it was basically just her and Trump. Like it was like a couple. There was like maybe like one people lingering, but like it was mainly her and them. Um, a specific group of people voted. Like when Obama came out, everybody went out and voted. Everybody voted. Um, I just think that it wasn't like those people weren't gonna vote. It's just they didn't feel like, you know how people are, they feel entitled. And I don't know how you guys feel entitled, like, fuck the world, it's already fucked up, my vote don't count. Well, this is what happens when you think your vote don't count just because you don't care, all right? Um, you get all these lines of the specific type of people, and I ain't going to say it, but it, I'm going to say it, white people. That's the polls. I don't know. You do the statistics, you go and do the research. And you'll figure it out. Other people have done it. I don't need to pull out the one, the stuff that I did. I didn't have to do that. I'm just putting you, put it out to you like this. Majority of America that voted were all white people, and they voted for, they voted for Trump. Now, I'm not racist against anybody. I'm against racism. So when I speak against you, specific white people, I'm not talking about all white people. Okay. And I'm not sure, I'm not, I'm not, I'm pretty sure it's not all white people that voted, but majority of Americans that voted and majority of the groups were white groups. Almost all the white groups voted for President Trump. Now, now you got him being in office for some time. Can you explain what he's been doing and how he's under investigation? And, um, wait, hold up. He's nothing close to Reagan and Reagan wasn't even cool because look at Reaganomics. Ain't nothing trickle down. What the fuck was that? That was about the businesses. That's about pockets. Okay. And I'm not saying Democrats are not guilty of that either. But everybody's getting a piece of the pie when it comes to that level of stuff. But these particular people are getting more of a pie and are specifically out for those groups benefits. Okay. Not yours, not mine, not the people as a whole, but those specific groups of individual elite, elite individuals. Okay. Now, when you got a lady from a news network who's smart, who's done it before, who's been in it for a while, who's credited herself, respect to all women, but this one particular, how can you be this smart and be so dumb to mention about a basketball player who's LeBron James, not Michael Jordan? Oh, no, he's not Michael Jordan, but he's been in talks as being close up there to with the GOAT of Michael Jordan, being the greatest basketball player ever, okay? And... As far as being a businessman, he's a way better businessman than uh, than Jordan ever was. He's never had any gambling issues. He's had a, he besides not going to college, he graduated from high school. He didn't just go from high school to the pros, which one of the last to do it. He went from high school to the pros, but graduated high school and went to the pros. And as in the pros, he's managed his career better than any a, a lot of athletes possibly. Can imagine. I mean, he's probably changed the game 
as far as ownership of one's own contracts and and man and leverage and all that and that takes intelligence okay um he's done a lot of philanthropy foundations and 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 charity notable works and he's actually involved in it and he spoke up a lot of on issues and when he mentioned somebody like trump and what he said specifically is that this this dude doesn't resonate with our country him and kd said it it's not it's just how can you ignore it and you to tell him to shut up and dribble is to ignore the fact that this man makes billions and billions of dollars and he doesn't just play basketball though he's not just a a dumb basketball player he's a credited basketball player who has um a background outside of basketball that backs up to what he said as a person as a model citizen of society okay i would get it if it might have came from somebody else i don't know maybe i might get it but when you tell somebody to shut up and dribble it is the equivalent of telling a woman to get back up in the kitchen because you're initially saying not necessarily saying it to the basketball player but we know what you're hitting you're hitting meaning behind that was was basically to tell people to stay in their lane okay and nobody's gonna stay in their lane chick nobody's gonna do that okay especially what he he said he's not gonna do a you cannot tell somebody like that to stay in there. And then he doesn't even need to speak up for himself. You'll have many other people come up on his defense. But he could defend himself in the court of public opinion. And I believe every word that he said was true about him being a public figure. He is a role model. And he's actually one of the athletes or one of the people, celebrities, that actually takes upon that role as a role model seriously. To a degree where he doesn't put out... We don't see things of him doing um, not so pleasant or family appropriate things. He has children. So he's also a father. And for you to say that to somebody, it definitely sets us back. But more importantly, sets you back and your group of people back farther than the rest of the world. I wish you well. I hope that you move past that state of mind. And uh, good night, folks.